there's a really big collector's market for vintage glass. So when I find a beautiful piece like this one from Westmoreland, I definitely pop it in the cart. I'm not sure though if this is a goblet or if it originally had a lid. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's bright and early on a Saturday morning here in Las Vegas. And I don't know if you can see my temperature gauge, but we are on a cooling trend. It's only 67 degrees this morning, but uh, beautifully bright and sunny. We are on our way to my favorite Goodwill at Cheyenne and Rainbow. Just a couple of minutes away. I'll see you there. I'm really excited. It's just a couple of days away from the Boss Reseller Remix here in Vegas. So if you haven't got your tickets yet and you can make a spontaneous trip, we would love to see you. If not, you can always join us virtually and I can give you $10 off your virtual ticket with my code THRIFTLV. I'll put the website at the bottom of the screen here. Today, we are on the lookout for a couple of things. Still, uh, the Boleslavic Polish pottery, a very popularly requested item. Also, the jointed giraffe I found in my last video. So many of you were interested. So we're absolutely on the lookout for more similar. Without further ado, let's grab our Thrifting Vegas blanket and our reusable shopping bags and see what we can find. Let's go thrifting! As many of you know, after experiencing somebody rudely impersonating me on Facebook, I created a new Thrifting Vegas official page. I'll pop a picture of it up here so when you see it, you know you're in the right place. And I would really appreciate it if you could uh, follow me and like me there. I'm going to be posting all my YouTube videos in order. Thank you. It's really fun to see where I've started and how I've progressed. And Facebook is an easy way to view all my videos in chronological order. The color tag of the week is purple. All purple tags are 50% off, so we'll have to be sure to look out for those. The Halloween boutique is in full swing. We will have a look there after we check out the hard goods section. Just a reminder that everything you see me thrift today will be available for purchase. Stay tuned for the haul after this shopping trip. I show you everything I bought, I tell you what I paid and what I value it at. If you see something you would like to purchase, please send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Include your name, your address, the item you're interested in and your offer. Bear in mind, I do get a lot of emails. So if you're in love with something, feel free to offer just a little bit more than I ask. Here we are in the hard goods section and in the plastic aisle on this shelf, I've noticed a spoon rest. It's in the Tonala Mexican pottery style. I love the blue with the yellow. It's only $2, so let's pop that into our cart. We will head over to the figurines and collectibles aisle here. I must take a second to put my Thrifting Vegas blanket in the cart, but look at this basket. It looks like it has an applied handle. Uh, it gives it an artisan quality. It would be absolutely gorgeous with candy or a little posy of flowers in it, even some wax scent beads. Back here, our fairy lamp top is still there, still $6 red tag. Let's see what's in this box. Oh, these look like big Christmas ornaments. I can't tell if they're glass or plastic. Let's see, $2 blue tag. Whoop. 
I think those are plastic, the unbreakable kind. What else have we got over here? A little crystal ornament. I think that is a star sign. Sagittarius, maybe? Let's keep going here. A stack of plates. Sadly, collector plates just don't do very well for me. There are usually a lot of them available on eBay. And uh, it's usually a race to the lowest price uh, from each seller. These are quite nice. But uh, as you may know, if you watch my channel, plate, plates are not my favorite to sell or ship. So we'll leave them for somebody else. This, on the other hand, is really interesting. It, is it a Gaelic cross? It has a chain for hanging. It's glass. Sadly, it does have a crack there, a little bit of damage. But I don't think that hurts it too much. It's still a lovely piece. The color combination is fantastic. So um, I think we will pop it into the cart as well. Very unique that. $4. I think it is an artisan piece or a project piece. Let's keep going to see what else we can find. Back here is a piece that says Mary Kay on it. It looks to be some sort of consultant display. This box is molten brown. I hesitate to buy toiletries at Goodwill. You just never know how old they are or how they've been stored. Down here is a lovely piece. I think it's German, hand painted pink and gold flowers. There's the mark. It's $5.99. I want to say that this is a cigarette holder. All the little ridges hold individual cigarettes. So that is definitely uh, a vintage piece of tobacchiana. We'll pop that into our cart. Let's see what else we can find. As always, a big display of dolls. It's a clown there. Not really my thing. What's this? A little sign, black and sign. Let's pop this over in the right section, just across the way there. Some clear glass up top. Plain ashtray, a couple of vases, it's an angel, baskets, Christmas tree stands. There's a couple of candle holders here. These are quite nice. They are not marked though, and it's actually quite difficult to sell clear glass that isn't signed. I'm not sure what these are. Ohio stoneware. Is it a trivet? This is a little paperweight. I'm fascinated by things that I don't know uh, what they are. I'm not familiar with them. So I'm going to pop this in the cart more clear glass, a lidded box and candle holders. Oh, this is a pretty trinket box. Mexican pottery hand painted. Oh, and personalized to Teresa. That narrows the target market down considerably. So I think we'll leave that on the shelf. Let's have a look. What is this? Another doll in there. Her foot says made in China. A little house. Looks like a hallmark piece. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. When I'm thrifting, I do like to move more fragile items off of crowded shelves. That way they don't get broken. Let's see, lots of baggies down here. A couple of gnomes. These have migrated over from the Halloween section. They are full price, $5. A 
Uh, that just doesn't leave me enough room for profit. So we'll leave those. Oh, look at this. This possibly is uranium glass. Let me grab my little keychain flashlight and we will check. It does not light up. If you are attending the Boss Reseller Remix, I am giving away to everyone in attendance who wants one, one of those little keychain flashlights. They're very, very handy, especially if you forget your main one. You can always have it with you on your purse and on your keys. So I thought that was a really um, useful giveaway. Some trick or treat bags here. Another sign and plaque. Not sure what these are. Are they trivets? They're wrapped rings, wrapped with um, jute, is that? Some de decorative items here, a little game, a book. This is plastic. Let's see, all sorts of odds and ends. A little bag of bunnies. I think somebody has either taken someone something out of it or moved something I'm just having a look sometimes just one item in a bag can make purchasing the whole bag worthwhile this is a Christmas plate melamine and I have a set of these at home I can always use one more for 99 cents an Asian plate there three dollars this has a little bit of damage on her sash there so we'll leave it what else can we find? Planters and candles up here. Oh, here's another bunny. This fellow was possibly in the bag that got open. So let's put that bag up here with him. All the bunnies together. Little sign back there. More collector plates. Large cats. Again, collector plates just don't sell for me, so I'll leave them. I do like this uh, celestial box, but it's quite damaged and wrinkly. What else have we got? A nativity stable. I like that uh, decorative piece over there. We'll have to remember to have a look at that. Another bag. This is a peacock made of seashells. Wow, he is very fancy. <laughs> Again, something that doesn't sell too well for me, shell ornaments. They do send, tend to sit in my store. So I'm going to leave those. A couple of little blue and white pieces, not for food use. We'll steer clear of that one. I am going to guess that this one says the same thing on the base. Let's just peel the label. And be sure, yes, not for food juice. We'll keep going. Pretty little Libby dish there. Oh, this is Ray Dunn, a black uh, Halloween pumpkin style plant pot. It's in good shape. Looks like it's got some extra tags in it there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pop that into our cart. I always like to check on Ray Dunn pieces because sometimes they're really quite hard to find, rare and collectible. So uh, when you do find Ray Dunn, uh, give it a quick look up on eBay and eBay solds to see if you've got something good. Having a dig here through the stacks of plates, odds and ends as a Tigger photo holder there. What else have we got? Decorative items. Santa cookie jar. Lots and lots of plates. Bags of ornaments. Christmas bags and wrap got wreaths and decor, ribbon, there's a couple of vases here, they don't look too terribly uh, substantial, not very good quality, I think they are florist pieces, almost like a decoupage on there, so we'll leave those, 
This looks like part of uh, a Lazy Susan little chip and dip or um, appetizer server. Silks and florals, tins. Oh, this is similar to the piece we saw on the top shelf over there. It's just an inexpensive decorative item. Model home decor, as I call it. <laughs> we got boxes and tins. This fellow is sweet. Sadly, he's very, very damaged, missing his beak. Little houses. This is a southwestern piece. Not very uh, heavy as I pick it up. Definitely a souvenir piece that. What's this? Oh, I think we've seen those before. Christmas ornaments. We got mugs. I do like the drip glaze on this bottle. I think it's part of a little Asian um, set for possibly soy sauce. It comes with little dishes. Oh, that's a shame. Little mini teapot missing its lid with a broken handle. It looks like another little cup is broken there as well. It's always a shame to find broken things. A cardinal, a uh, candle. What else? Oops. All sorts of Christmas mugs. More wreaths. I'm really glad I looked up because I missed this. It's a tabletop chimney four dollars it's in great condition these look lovely as a centerpiece with flickering candle inside surrounded by some greenery so let's pop that into our cart we've come round the corner onto this end cap where there's lots of baggies this one has figurines in it we've got some candles ornaments oh look here are some pumpkin votive holders, but down at the bottom here, this piece has caught my eye. It's an orange cat shaker. He's definitely vintage. He looks German. So for $5, we are going to grab this bag just for the cat and everything else in there will be profit. So let's have a look, see what they have over here. This is all sorts of seasonal bits. Another gnome has migrated over. We've got a candlestick and a cake pan. Let's see, it's a baseball player. Mugs and boxes. Some inexpensive figurines there baskets and cards here's a halloween mug trick or treat three dollars on that one let's see lots of glass more wrap over here christmas ornaments and some string lights Oh, look at this bunny plate. This has a very Fitz and Floyd look to it. I'd be surprised if it's not. It's only $2 bunny radish dish. That's lovely. Let's grab that. We'll pop it carefully into our cart. No damage. Where were we? I think we were up here. Going upwards, we've got tins, more baskets, Ooh, little Star of David brass candle holders. I like those. I think this is a toothbrush holder and a goblet made to look like silver. We're going to grab these Star of David brass candle holders. I'm just going to make sure that it is indeed what it says it, it, <laughs> it is on the top of the box. 
and we can have a look at one while we're here yes that's lovely very unique I've never actually seen those before and I would imagine they're quite expensive new so we will pop those oh yeah $25 up here is the model home decor piece we wanted to take a look at. It appears to be glazed resin made in China sticker on the bottom. We have an empty box. What is this? Magic funny tree. Look at this soap dispenser. It's a Christmas palm tree with a flamingo in a Santa hat. <laughs> it's absolutely lovely. Fantastic if you have uh, beachy decor. Four dollars purple tag. So it means it's two dollars on sale. So let's definitely put that into our cart. We'll keep going. Little votive light up house there our tissue box still there still ten dollars red tag stacks of plates pumpkin platter we've got jars and bowls All sorts of Christmas bowls down here. Candles, more tins. halloween -y bags. We saw those the other side. Let's see. Ornaments. More clear glass. This is $10. Apparently they think that is something very special. Masks and plush. Lots more dolls around this side. Oh, here's a yard rope box. Let's see. Can we get lucky? No, there is something else entirely inside there. What a shame. It was only $5. Oh, look at this, a whole baggie of those little uh, decorative shoes. They look to be in great condition. The bag is $13. I think there's at least 13 in there, so a dollar a piece. I think there is profit to be made on those. We'll put them in the cart. Over here is an amazing twin Winton monk cookie jar. Look at this piece. Thou shalt not steal <laughs> cookies. Oh no, he's really chipped on his shoulder there. And it actually goes all the way across his top there. You know, I think in order to repair that, someone has actually glued the lid onto the cookie jar. There's the mark, Twin Winton, made in USA. Can't make out how much they're asking for it, but um, with that sort of damage, I'm going to leave it on the shelf. We are here in the vases, planters, and florals, having a look. This cobalt piece has caught my eye. Let's see, it's very, very big and tall and heavy. I don't think it's vintage, so we will leave it for somebody else. Lots and lots of clear, as usual, florist pieces and centerpiece pieces. Let's see if anything jumps out at us. So we've got some jars over here lidded jars moving into the colored pieces and planters many of these pieces look familiar being careful to look all the way to the back behind things it's a three dollar target piece little bowl 
more cobalt at the back. This is a pottery piece that's quite pretty. Irises on there. Planters don't do ever so well for me for some reason, so I think I will leave that as well. Moving up here, more vases. Oh, I always touch that pink one, <laughs> and it's always plastic. This looks like it might glow. We'll use our little flashlight. As you can see, it does not. Silks up there. Baskets. The perfect place to come if you need some silk flowers. They're ever so expensive if you buy them at retail price. Just having a dig back there. Make sure I see everything. That's a Halloween mask. We have moved over to the wood baskets, plaques and signs. That is for a wine bottle, I think. Lots and lots of boxes and signs. Oh, what's this with a cat on it? Oh, it's a cat sign. It is a little worse for wear. Possibly has been outside, but oh my goodness, I love this so much. Unfortunately, it appears to be missing a cat uh, at the top there on the T. But for $3, I, I love this. <laughs> In its vintage state, we can probably put a uh, another cat on there. Might be easy to find one at Michael's. Uh, just to replace the missing piece. But that is so unique and lovely, and I love the wear on it. So we will fold that up, pop it in our cart, just see if we can find anything else back here. Folds up nice and neatly. We'll pop it carefully in here and keep going. Boxes and baskets. Oh, there's a little fleur de lis here. This is a wall hanging for 69 cents. That is really fun if you have uh, European decor. Quite regal, isn't it? So that will go in there too. Where were we? I keep losing my place today. <laughs> Picture frames. Racks. And candlesticks. As always, lots and lots of plaques and signs. What else can we find? Oh, look at this. This is a little recipe box, possibly. Oh, it hangs on the wall, definitely vintage ducks on the uh, porcelain insert there. I absolutely love that. Let's definitely take that with us. It's really fun. Oh, there's another one here. We can't leave this one behind. Let's grab it as well. There's a really big collector's market for vintage glass. So when I find a beautiful piece like this one from Westmoreland, I definitely pop it in the cart. I'm not sure though if this is a goblet or if it originally had a lid. We'll have to keep an eye out as we hunt through the remaining shelves to see if there's anything that might fit. Let's keep going in the glassware here just in case. There's a set of Tabasco glasses there. Those are quite fun. What else have we got? These are lovely vintage cranberry glasses. I actually think I have a set of these in my booth. They're really lovely for the holidays. Let's keep going. Big sets on the bottom there. Let's see. 
keeping an eye out for brown glass. I see something over there. It looks like a tortoise shell pattern. Let's have a look. I think this might be, is it a candle holder? It doesn't really feel like a drinking glass. What else? No sign of any more Westmoreland goblets or uh, candy dishes it might be with a lid. You have to look really carefully because all this clear tends to blend together. It just occurred to me that I should probably check the official baggy wall here at Goodwill on the off chance that we might be able to find a match to our orange vintage cat shaker that we found earlier and also the lid to our Westmoreland glass goblet slash candy dish that may or may not exist. The baggies are few and far between today, but I'm having a thorough look. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing what we're looking for, but it was definitely worth a try. I'm having my second look around the shelves and up top here, I missed this white Tigger plush. He's a snowy winter Tigger. He's stuck on these baskets. Let's have a look. I've never actually found one of these before. He's really lovely. He's in nice condition, really clean. He's $5. He has his Disney Store tag, original retail 1950. So let's definitely grab him. Here we are in the electronics and I have noticed this vintage Mickey Mouse wall clock. It's made by Loris Quartz Movement. And also there is one uh, with the character Teddy Wood. I'm not familiar with this character and the clock is missing its uh, clear plastic face. But I would be interested to know how much they're worth. So we are going to move over here out of the way and um, look them up on eBay. There's probably going to be a lot of Mickey Mouse clocks on eBay. So we are going to do a Google Lens search. We'll take a picture of the clock within Google Lens and Google will search its database for any matches here. Let's see, oh, there's one. Only $15 on eBay. I think based on that, we will pass. Let's see if we can find Teddy Wood over here. We'll take our picture within Google Lens. Let's get the hands out of his face. There we go. Let's see, it's not coming up. Most of these clocks are only worth about $15. So uh, based on that, I think we will pass. I'm going to add Teddy Wood to the description just to see. There he is, the character Teddy Wood. Moving down the aisle into the lamp section, I have spotted this gorgeous blown art glass shade. It is white with a brown swirl, $5, still attached to the uh, pendant fixture here. It is a shame that there's only one. But, oh, there is another one. This one is a, looks like an outdoor wall sconce, but the shade is the same. You could actually take the fixtures off of both of these and uh, just use the glass shades if you wanted to. At $5 a piece, these are definitely going into the cart. I just happened to look up on the top shelf and noticed two more art glass lampshades here. 
They're beautiful brown and white with purple, as you can see. And I'm turning it around and there is red and yellow on the other side. $4 that one. Let's fetch the other one down. Also $4, it has the beautiful purple with the brown and the white. Just checking the top to make sure there's no damage just a bit of sticky up there and this one is also red and yellow so you could show it either side if you wanted to they're just gorgeous they've lined the furniture up in the other direction it looks much better much more open let's take our usual stroll through the small pictures and frames i've spotted marilyn monroe here a lovely photo I don't think it's original there's a pair there what else can we find Italian chefs here all sorts of frames colors shapes and sizes when I'm looking through here I'm searching for original pieces of art watercolor or oil Stitchery, needlepoint cross stitch. Not seeing anything today. Oh, this is similar to that piece we found. It was a star. I think it's the same artist. Lovely piece. Only a dollar fifty on sale. But surprisingly, the star didn't sell. So I think I am going to leave this on the shelf. Let's see, some cats here, a little frame, a wooden piece, dolphins and tulips. Lots and lots of frames. Little piece of art for a child's room. Let's make our way into the larger art section. As always, all sorts of canvases, model home art. Uh, this mirror caught my eye, but I think it is most definitely a modern piece made in China, it says. If it was vintage, I would definitely grab that. We are making our way to the front of the store and the Halloween Boutique. This is Goodwill's Halloween section. They restock it daily. Actually, as you can see, there is a big cart full of new Halloween treasures sitting, waiting to be put out on the shelves. So let's have a quick peek here and see what we can find. Some big pumpkins here for $3. We've got some costumes, wall hangings and decor. Ooh, here's Dracula. More pumpkins, a turkey. We're rounding the corner into the Halloween section and the shelves look really full. There are full price decorations here. Oh, look at this. This is Ray Dunn. There's Beware on one side and a skeleton face on the other. It's $3. I don't think I can resist this. I absolutely love Ray Dunn Halloween items. Let's keep going. Here's a witch's broom. Oh, that's a new piece. Retail price. All sorts of accessories. This looks like a squishmallow. Oh, it's a witch. She is so cute. <laughs> Let's see. She's a bit grimy. Where's her tag? Six dollars on her. I don't think she's Squishmallow, maybe a similar brand, Smoochy Pals. I think we'll leave her on the shelf and keep going. All oh, the gnomes there. Oh, look at this. 
milk glass hobnail basket. This is gorgeous. It's tragic, but it's lost its handle. That is so sad. I'm tempted to buy it as is, but uh, those basket pieces are so sharp there. I will resist. Let's see what else we can find. Some scary decorations. Spooky Town. I think this is a Michaels piece. Arcade pieces. Whoops. That mask jumped out at me. Pop that back there. Some games. It's a soap dispenser. Sadly, all the paint's worn off. Lots of skulls. Mugs here. Another gnome. Those shelf sitter uh, gnomes did really, really well for me. Everybody was interested. <laughs> this is a cute little jack-o'-lantern. Very um, thin material though, unfortunately. Let's see. Oh, this is Otagiri. Look at this seashell casserole here. It's six dollars. Sadly, casseroles, single casseroles like this don't sell very well. I think the people that buy them already have the set. So we'll leave that. Making our way through here. Look at this piece. It's a trick-or-treat mug with a candy corn gnome lid. That's so fun. All sorts of Ray Dunn pieces here. That's a can cozy. A magic potion pitcher. That one's got a big chip on the side, but this one looks to be in lovely condition. It's $5.00. And the Ray Dunn treasures just to keep on coming. Up front here, we have a pumpkin Starbucks mug. Originally came in a set with a black one. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Let's see. It's $2, 2007 Starbucks. We'll definitely grab that. We've got a ghost and a witch to go with our covered candy corn gnome mug, a beware watering can, tricks and treats canister. And this could be the find of the day. Way at the bottom in the middle is an M&M red light up jack-o'-lantern. He's absolutely fantastic, only $4. On the other side of the shelf here is this fantastic skull in a fedora. He's absolutely amazing. I think he lights up and possibly speaks as well. It's really busy over here. So one more thing before we go. This lovely blessed gnome sign. Here on my table is everything we found at Goodwill. I didn't realize <laughs> how massive this haul actually is. We have about half the table with non-seasonal items and then the other half with an amazing collection of Ray Dunn and other pieces. Our bandit is here. Napping on the chair. Hi, B. Hi. I think Ziggy just went to get something to eat. Hi. So let's get started. Over here with the first thing we found, this gorgeous little glass basket with a handle. You could use this for so many things. Jewelry, flowers, wax beads. We paid 99 cents for it. And I am going to ask $12. Next, we have our bunny radish dish. I'm not sure whether this is actually Fitz and Floyd. Um, it doesn't have a mark, but it really 
uh, is nice quality and it looks like Fitz and Floyd. We paid $2 for it and I am going to ask $25. Next we have our lovely Fleur de Lis wall hanging. Has a convenient hook on the back. I paid 69 cents for it and I am going to ask $14. So I learned something new today. These pieces of stoneware, they're marked Ohio Stoneware, um, are actually fermentation weights. You put them in the vessel when you're fermenting uh, veggies or whatever you're fermenting fruit and they weigh um, the food down so it can ferment correctly. It's just fascinating. I paid $2 for them, and uh, I am going to ask $20. Next, we have this lovely spoon rest. I was just so enamored with the colors and the yellow band around the outside. The brand is Daphne B. Uh, I paid $2 for it, and I am going to ask $12. This is a lovely vintage German piece. I think, I would guess, from about the 40s or 50s. It's, I believe, a cigarette holder. You put a cigarette in each of the little ridges here. It's hand-painted with pink and uh, gold roses just lovely there is the mark I paid six dollars for it and I am going to ask twenty two dollars this is a very unique soap dispenser I haven't been able to find another one like it online or anywhere it's a palm tree on a desert island with a fl flamingo we paid $4, uh, actually $2, because Purple Tag was on sale. It's just so whimsical and sweet. I am going to ask $22. Next, we have our Art Glass Celtic Cross here. Beautiful green and blue with bubbles. It does have a crack uh, in the glass on one side. I believe it's here. Really not too noticeable. Uh, I'm thinking of my lovely subscriber who has a wall of crosses. I paid $4 for this. I am going to ask $22. Over here we have our super collection of miniature shoes. Some of these, I didn't realize, go for quite a pretty penny. I think this one is listed online um, for 18 or $20, as is the blue boot. I paid $13 for all that you see here, including the two sweet little purses. And I am going to ask $6 a piece. Over here, we have our beautiful art glass lampshades. There's two of each style. These have purple on one side with the brown and white. And uh, red and yellow on the other. This one is just the same. Absolutely beautiful. I paid $4 a piece for these and uh, they are valued around $50 to $75 for the pair. Then back here we have another two. These are brown and white swirl. One is a wall sconce, the other is a pendant light. Uh, I paid $5 a piece for these. And I value these $50 to $60 for the pair. Next, we have our lovely recipe box with the porcelain front. It has uh, 
geese on it. It is wood in lovely condition. You can pop recipes in there and it does hang on the wall. I paid $3 for it. I am going to ask $18. Back here we have our snowy, oops, our snowy white tigger. He has snowflakes and uh, blue stripes, holly and holly berries on his hat, which is uh, like a velour with snowflakes. We paid $5 for him. I am going to ask $20. At the back here is a lovely wintry fall sign. I had it is just a um, inexpensive display. Miley had it in her room and she is changing things around. She asked me to make it available to you. We paid five dollars or six dollars for it and I am going to ask twelve dollars. Here we have our cat sign and as you can see it is very weathered but for me that just adds to its charm it's got some cracking and paint loss and it's even missing one of its cats up here I am sure though whoever gives it a new home uh, would be able to find another cat without too much trouble I paid three dollars for it I am going to ask $15. This is a lovely little chimney. They make great centerpieces. I actually have a cat one that I use. Uh, I put the chimney in the center on a plate and surround it with greenery, pine uh, needles and leaves, and um, berries. You have to be a bit careful not to use real pine if you have cats because uh, pine is very toxic to cats and uh, you should also be careful if you're using a real uh, Christmas tree with cats because uh, it can make them very very sick indeed. Moving on uh, to our seasonal items here. I found an awful lot of Ray Dunn, which is very exciting for me because I love Ray Dunn pieces. So I'm not going to go through each and every one because uh, <laughs> we have a lot. I'm going to ask $18 on the three um, lidded mugs here. Let's see, I think we paid four on these. $4 on the lidded mugs. We're asking 18 on the beware ones. These two have a, a skeleton face on the back. This one is green inside. I paid, what did I pay? I think I paid three on these, four on these. Uh, and I am going to ask $15. These two are Magic Potion wine tumblers, insulated stainless steel wine glasses. Uh, they have lids, perfect for <laughs> trick or treating. You could also put coffee or cocoa in these. And this one is a skinny can insulator for your uh, skinny can beverage. <laughs> More booze, please. I paid $4 for these. I am going to ask $12 a piece. I'm going to ask uh, 24 on the Beware, 24 on the Magic Potion, 24 on the Tricks and Treats, and on the Spooky. This is actually a hard to find piece. That is why um, Goodwill had it priced here at ten dollars this is a Starbucks pumpkin mug I wasn't able to find the black one that goes with it I paid two dollars I am going to ask fifteen dollars uh, we found 
these candle holders with our German little cat shaker and our ghosty tea light holder in a bag for six dollars. I'm going to ask twelve dollars on him. This guy is a teen and uh, each of these little votives are five dollars. A couple more Ray Dunn pieces. These are lovely coasters, all different colors with different spooky words. I paid six dollars on these. I am going to ask 24. We have a happy haunting sign with a metal uh, hanger. Absolutely lovely. I believe I paid three dollars on that. I am going to ask 15. Over here we have our blessed gnome sign. He is beaded. Absolutely lovely. We paid two dollars on him. I am going to ask fourteen dollars. We have two jack-o'-lantern uh, pumpkins here. The eek one I paid five dollars for. I am going to ask fifteen dollars and Red over here, spooky jack-o'-lantern red. We paid $4. I am going to ask $45. Last but not least, our lovely Westmoreland. Uh, I believe it is a cup. It doesn't have a ridge for a lid. No sign of one in the store. Uh, I paid $2 for it. I am going to ask $18. Oh, we do have one more thing, our lovely Star of David brass candle holders, brand new in the box. I am going to ask $20 on these. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our thrifting trip and the haul. If you see anything you'd like to purchase, please send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Include your name, your address, the item you're interested in, and your offer. Please do bear in mind I receive a lot of emails, many offers. So if you are uh, in love with something, please don't hesitate to offer a little bit more uh, than asking price. Please stay tuned. We have some fun footage of Bear and Rio at the uh, Floyd Lamb Park. And of course, cats and birds. Oh, Ziggy has joined us. Here he is on the chair next to me <laughs> amongst the boxes. Hi. And we will see you next time. Bye. It's close to Halloween. This weekend, we put our Halloween decorations up. This is our balcony. We have our jack-o'-lantern and all the lighter the pumpkins on the wall are swirling pumpkins. And then in our doorway, we have our Grim Reaper. Our gravestones and pumpkins. And I forgot to put the wreath on. If you watch my channel, you'll know that I'm thrilled to be speaking at this year's Boss Reseller Remix. It's October 16th through 19th here in Las Vegas. 
If you're a reseller at any level, tickets are still available. This will be my third year, so please join us. It's an incredible experience. If you can't make it in person, be sure to grab your virtual ticket. Get $10 off with my code THRIFTLV. We have just dropped the kids at school and we are on our way to the dog's favorite place, Floyd Lamb Park. There's Rio, here's Bear. We've got some excited panting going on. <laughs> Luckily, the park is less than 10 minutes away from our house. We will see you there. Bear, you excited? What are you doing? There. You on the ramp? Boy. really really windy today but the pups love to have a look at the water there's ducks over there and there's been geese flying overhead this is Floyd Lamb Park sunny today in Vegas I would say about 80 degrees the wind makes it feel a bit cooler Rio's trying to paddle in the water is there a turtle <laughs> okay we don't drink it Look, Bear. Come on. This little spillway here allows water to flow from one lake all the way down to another one. 
<laughs> Rio loves the water. <laughs> bear, not so much. Come on, bear. background is military aircraft. We have a couple of Air Force bases here in Las Vegas and uh, they are frequently heard overhead. More difficult to spot because you hear them way after they've gone overhead. <laughs> <laughs> 